read the answer of the 1960s parliament, the first parliament, read those answers and read our answers today. These were the deputy speaker's sentiments last week as he compared the ninth parliament to others before it. Geoffrey Kanya, the Tororo County MP, wasted no time. He has proposed a bill which he says will eventually trim the large numbers of legislators. He believes the bill could also help improve the quality of debate on the floor of parliament. So the way forward is to have a parliament that is robust, that is active, that is well facilitated, hmm, that represents a population quarter. The proposal also makes provision for reducing the numbers of cabinet and state ministers. So that we can have a lean governance system that can then deliver services and we have resource. Others, we are not going to compete in the East African community region. So the number of 385, there are so many. 77 ministers are so many. It is so costly to the country. Some of us were not even in support of the districts. While this proposal has received a number of cheers, some lawmakers are opposed to it. They feel the large numbers of MPs is a necessity given the responsibilities they carry. Representation in parliament is matching with Uganda's population growth rate. Because in 1962, we were 6 million represented by less than 100. 2014, we are projected to be 37 million represented by over 350 members of parliament. So those are factors that must be taken into play. But what people value here in Uganda, especially in most of our constituencies, is does the member bury? Does the member bring condolences? Does the member attend funeral rites or duas? Does this member come to introduction ceremonies, niginas, and so on? And where do you get that time? Because all those programs are not scheduled in as far as the members' schedules are, you know, are concerned. There are those whose sympathy is with the taxpayers and the amount of money he would be able to save if the number of MPs to cater for was less. If you have done a thorough research, how do you I mean, deliver the information or the data that you have researched for say one week? You deliver it in two minutes, in three minutes? We are here as members of parliament representing communities. How many tribes do we have in Uganda? There are many. And that's why the population we have here is fully representing every community in Uganda. There is also a plan in place to expand the parliamentary chambers to accommodate the many lawmakers. Already, construction is underway to create more offices for MPs. More research all in TV at Parliament.